What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Rational Real Conversation. I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, here is my money in the bank predictions. Now we'll go over the match card real quick. We have the men's ladder money in the bank match as well. We also have one more participant for the match. We got the women's ladder money in the bank uh, match. We have a United States Championship match, Bobby Lashley versus Theory. And we have a Raw's Women's Championship match, Bianca Belair versus Camilla. And then we had a Unification Tag Team match, the Usos versus the Street Profits. We have the SmackDown's Women's Championship match, Randy Rousey versus uh, Bian uh, 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 Natalia. And that is practically it. Just one more person left for the men's ladder match. Now let's start off with the first match, and that is that is Rowney Rousey versus Natalia. Now I really don't get, to, uh, actually don't even care for this match at all. Um, I honestly glad that Randy Rousey took the championship from Charlie, but I could care less. I was hoping that Bailey would be back. Uh doing this time but to win the women's money in the bank but i'm guessing that is unfortunately not the case but i have running rounds for this position um the second match we got is the wwe unification tag team championship match the uso versus the street profits obviously the street profit is not winning the usos will be retaining I just hate how they being booked like henchmen that just loses every match. Um, they only win with Roman Reigns around, but I have the Usos winning this match as well. They definitely need some more tag team in that division because they really struggling right now with the tag team division. So hopefully um, they figured it out, but we have nobody to blame but Vince and his team. Bianca Belair versus Camilla for the Raw's Women's Championship. Um, this could be a okay, decent match. I don't have nothing against Camilla. I just feel like this wasn't, you know, um, really built to a specific level where, you know, I would be intrigued into watching this match. But I have Bianca Belair winning this match. To be honest, Bianca Belair Raw's championship reign hasn't really been all that good anyways. Because like I said, um, the same problem they have with the tag team division is they have it with the women's division as well. There's no one left for them to keep going back and forth. And, you know, this babyface reign, it's okay, but I just feel like, you know, it's not where it's supposed to be like it was in the NXT. But I have Bianca Belair winning this match as well. We have Austin Theory versus Bob Lashley for the United States Champion. And I don't know if they just going to pull the trigger and give Bob Lashley the United States Champion. Um, he was talking about how he won to be WWE Champion, brings the WWE Champion back to Monday Night Raw, but that wasn't the case. They put him in this feud with Austin Theory. Um, I thought it was going to be John Cena versus Austin Theory at SummerSlam, but that looks like that would not be the case. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Austin Theory, but they're not really doing much with him. Um, this build was them posing and showing off their muscles to each other. Um, either way, you know, I would be glad for Bob Lashley to have a championship again, but I feel like he's too big for this championship. Um, not physical, but like, you know, that mentality, like he needs that WWE championship back that he has never lost. But Roman Reigns is keeping that hostage, and so if he does win the United States champion this Saturday, I would not be mad, but... If he loses, I would be like, well, you know, that's on WWE, uh, you know, to not build this man up. And, you know, like they should have had backup plan for Roman Reigns. I just don't understand it. But I could go for either man in this United States Championship match. The Women's Ladders match, Money in the Bank Ladder match. This match is so predictable. The only person I really see winning this is Becky Lynch, but... I honestly believe that Liv Morgan really do deserve this. Um, do I see her beating Bianca Belair? I mean, she got the skills 
and the opportunity to be her. I mean, all she have to do is cash it in on her and just be like, I'm sorry, but, you know, I have to do what I have to do to win the money in the bank, you know? I mean, to win the Raw Zoom Championship because she can use that as I know the people in the back will try to screw me. So I had to find a way to win my way. And that is by cashing in knowing you. Um, we really want to see Liv Morgan beat Raw's Women's Champion or any champion as a matter of fact. Um, hopefully they pull the trigger and have her win the Money in the Bank briefcase and be a championship down the road. But knowing WWE, they're going to have Becky Lynch win this whole thing and then start the whole feud over with Bianca Belair with Bianca Belair and having this go from a long rivalry championship reign again, which nobody really wants to see. So my pick would be Liv Morgan for this. Um, yeah, I would say Alyssa Bliss, but she hasn't really been, yeah, she hasn't really been again my man Mrs. Money in the Bank. So Liv Morgan is really my pick. There's literally no one left. Um, I think they gonna have Becky Lynch win this, but I want Liv Morgan to win this woman's Money in the Bank ladder match. So let me know who you guys pick. Uh, do you guys agree with me on this? I truly believe you guys will agree with me. If you disagree, let me know why down below in the comment section. Now we have the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Um. Okay, we have Drew McIntyre, Matt Riddle, Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, Sheamus, and Amos. Now, the last person was supposedly be Kevin Owens or Ezekiel. Now, I don't know. They said Kevin Owens got hurt. I don't know. I thought maybe John Cena was going to take that place. Um, it's very interesting to say the least because I also thought, you know, maybe... Uh, AJ Styles could have been in that position, but he's feuding with the Miz. I thought Bobby Lashley could have been in that position, but, you know, he wasn't even in a battle war, you know? <laughs> so it's very interesting to see who would be in this ladder match right here. I'm assuming they're going to put Kevin Owens in there if he can make it by this Saturday. they probably doing precautions in the scene if he can move around and stuff. Um, Drew McIntyre, I have not been a fan of him lately because I feel like I get tired of seeing him, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, he did uh, excellent in the pre, uh, damn it, the pre, uh, the, uh, poor, the, um, uh, poor damn it, how you say, uh, poor damn it, uh, pre damn it, uh, Kobe, uh, Kobe Podamit, Paul Dammit. I think it's something like that. Oh, Podamit. So I don't know, but regardless, uh, Drew McIntyre, he did good doing that Kobe. Uh, oh, Podamit. Yeah, Paul Dammit, Paul Dammit, whatever. And, you know, he had banger matches with Sheamus. I don't use that word banger, so, you know, you know I'm serious. You know, you can look on YouTube. Him and Sheamus, him and Bob Lashley, they had plenty of good feuds. So I feel like, you know, I feel like he should have had a championship reign doing his heel turn. He should have beat it Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, then faced John Cena at SummerSlam for his WWE championship reign. But obviously that wasn't the case. Um, Matt Riddle, I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of. Um, he, I don't even know why he in this ladder match. Um, he would not, if he do get the championship, he would not beat Roman Reigns. We seen it on Friday that Roman Reigns beat him clean. Sami Zayn is a comedy act at his finest right now. But, you know, him, uh, the idea of him being world championship, I do not mind it at all. Seth Rollins, um, Cody Rhodes talking about if Seth Rollins win, Cody Rhodes will be the first one to congratulate him. So that makes me think, Except for all this might be winning this money in the bank briefcase because we know how they treat Seamus right now. Almost, they still building him up to be this not generally a monster. Drew McIntyre would get his opportunity eventually at council at the class, class at the council. So it all comes down to only Seth Rollins or this mystery person. Uh, they pick at the last minute. 
But my pick would be Seth Rollins because, let's be honest, Seth Rollins is the only person that legit can beat Roman Reigns, though, right? So if he do beat Roman Reigns, then you know Cody Rhodes is automatically going to be in line for the championship opportunity against him because Seth Rollins did take him out. I quote, I quote, he did take him out. But he was obviously injured on his own, uh, I believe, doing one of his workouts and two of his warm up. His chest, his pet. Um, but yeah, let me know who you guys, uh, what's you guys prediction down below in the comment section. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me down below in the comment section. I will be live for this man's. I will be live for the whole Money in the Bank uh pay per view. Uh, be sure to check that out. I, uh, yeah, I will be sh uh, doing shorts and stuff. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Um, I do shorts weekly. I try to do yashi videos and other weekly videos as soon as I get time. But other than that, you guys have a good day. Enjoy.